Tēnā koutou katoa, and welcome to this walkthrough of the New Zealand Portrait Gallery Te Pukenga Whakata's exhibition, The Friends' Favourites. This exhibition is a celebration of the Friends' efforts over the last 25 years, with each work having been chosen by a member of our Friends' Committee. Our first artwork is a portrait of Dame Gillian Whitehead, painted by Nigel Brown, and was chosen by Joy Dunsheath. Dame Gillian of Ngāti Tarangi is a composer who is best known for incorporating Te Ao Māori into her musical compositions. In 1999, she was awarded the New Zealand Order of Merit for her contribution to music. Joy chose this work due to the flexible connection with the environment, where Dame Gillian Whitehead's strength and creativity changed the vast green indigenous forests of dusky sound to shades of blue and yellow. This portrait depicts Lady Pomare and was painted by Beverly Shaw Bennett in 1950. This work was chosen by Jane Aim, whose grandmother was a friend of Lady Pomare. Jane says of the portrait, I chose this portrait because I like the formal look of this very gracious and strong New Zealander. Shona Willis chose the next portrait, which is titled Cubist Self-Portrait, by the artist and art historian Melvin Day. Shona says of the portrait, quote, This is a good example of his early experimentation with abstraction and cubism. I especially like his use of colour in this work, in particular the different skin tones. This work by Philip Markham depicts John Trimmer, who was appointed a Knight Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit for service to ballet in 1999. This portrait was chosen by Jane Cacaldi, who says of it, This is a celebration of the talented Sir John Trimmer, whose interpretations of character roles within the Royal New Zealand Ballet have delighted and enchanted not only me, but many others over the years. Another work chosen by Jane is this photograph of Janet Frame, taken by Robin Morrison. Jane says, Morrison has captured the wistful gaze of one of New Zealand's eminent writers, who through her work explored alienation and isolation. It belies the keen mind and ability of a woman who suffered personal challenges with mental health and produced a body of work that earned recognition and celebration. Carla Wilde's choice is a self-portrait by Nick Cuthel. Carla and her husband met Nick when he was waiting tables at Capitol back in the mid-2000s. After some discussion, Nick was commissioned by the Wilds to paint portraits of their three children, and he later went on to paint the Queen. Our final work on this digital tour was chosen by Jennifer Button. Painted by Glenda Randerson, this portrait depicts Barbara Anderson in her home on Oriental Parade from the year 1999. Jennifer says of the work, I made this choice as I knew Barbara in Hastings in the 1950s, and the portrait is true to how I remember her. It reflects the strength and vibrancy of Barbara's personality, and the use of the striking vivid colours sets the tone of this portrait brilliantly. 
Thank you for joining me on this introductory tour of the Friends Favourites, which closes 5 December 2021. We hope you're able to visit us to see this exhibition in person.